How did you get interested in reading? My interest in reading began with family bedtime readings when my parents and an older brother took turns reading to the younger ones. Those readings got me thinking and imagining about places and people in the stories. I loved how the family was together at these readings, discussing the readings, and just talking about related issues and events. But even later in life, I was fascinated at school, university, and gatherings by the way that some of my teachers, professors, and friends performed vivid and passionate reading aloud, or dramatic readings of literary works and history texts. They helped me to appreciate the connections among reading, writing, listening, and speaking. My interest in literacy continued as I started noticing how literacy was connected to the opportunities and challenges that people have in multilingual societies. For example, a challenge can be created for some members of society when their language is treated as less valuable and deserving than others. One thing that makes a language seem less valuable to some people is if it doesn't have a writing system. Written language is important, so reading and writing are important for language survival. I also learned that if people want to contribute to discussion about the value of languages and language policies, they need to read and write. Reading and writing are central to discussion about language and other academic topics. Of course, literacy has tremendous importance for schooling and even our daily lives, as reading and writing are necessary parts of almost everything we do. Overall, I would say I came to understand the power of literacy. That's why I continue to study and teach literacy. Professor Beckett shared her understanding of how important reading is. I think these insights are really significant and they are good motivations for teaching reading. The internet has amplified the importance of reading for everyone today. For example, Wikipedia was launched in 2001 to create a free online encyclopedia written and maintained by a community of volunteers. It started with all articles written in English, but ideas spread very quickly on the internet and soon other language versions were created. It is now the largest and most read reference work in the world, according to the information on the Wikipedia website. With content written by volunteers, we always have to check on the information we find on Wikipedia. But it remains a clear example of the power of reading combined with technology. The Project Gutenberg provides access to literature and also shows how technology increased access to printed text. It was started in 1971 by the inventor of the ebook, whose goal was to make literature available to everyone so that they could read for enjoyment, learning, and fun. His ebook invention predated the widespread internet that we know today. So, for the first 20 years, he started slowly with some titles in literature and important historical documents. The history of these projects and others demonstrates the important cultural value of the ideas that are conveyed in text and the important role that literacy plays in people's lives. If teachers understand the importance of reading, they will convey this value to their students. 
I asked Professor Beckett to talk more about why she thinks reading in English is so important for students around the world.